Hello once again and we're going to have a game of Desert Fox for the Commodore 64. Um, originally had this for the Amstrad as we're going to do the practice runs and do the Stuka first. Um, if I do the campaigns it'll take too long to play but if you play the campaign it is a good, it is good so let's get the Stuka first. So I think you've got to blow up five Stukas in total to um, get off this level. Um, it's the same in the in the campaign as well. Ah, oh, fucking hell! It's starting to get a little bit difficult now. They move around too much. Um, um, also, the, you can see the it changes from night to day and day to night. So that's a good touch with the game. Um, yeah, I really thought this was a good game back in the day. Um, I say the Amstrad version was absolutely brilliant um, graphics wise. I'd say the graphics were better on the Amstrad than they are on the Commodore 64, but what I like about the Commodore 64 version, um, you get that speech, the German speech, and I thought that's a good touch to it. Um, obviously Desert Fox was, you know, Rommel back in the day. Um, so obviously his Rommel name was, nickname was Desert Fox. See, everything takes place in the desert. <laughs> um, yeah. So he was a general back, back, back in World War II. Um, well, I'm fucking doing very well though, am I? Um, so I've only got two Stukas, and I've got three more, oh, three Stukas now. So every time you get a Stuka, you get um, a thousand points. Um, but it's good to practice this in practice mode, because when you do the campaigns, you basically don't know what you're going to be getting. Well, you do, because you've got the radio tell you what direction you got. You'll see the campaigns. If you, if you play it yourself, you probably play the campaigns. But have a practice on this first because you'll need it. So now we're... Um, um, now it's tank to tank battle because the Germans have got the Tiger tank. Um, so yeah, it's, it can be challenging this game, very challenging. But it's a good game, I recommend it. Um, uh, yeah. Never played it on. I've only ever played it on the Commodore 64 and the Amstrad version. I have to say they're both good versions. Um, I think graphically, the Amstrad version is a better version. Um, graphically, as we get five. So, now we're going to move on to minefields. This is where we're driving the tank and avoiding all the minefields. Fields, rather. Easy said and done, <laughs> but you know, I think you've got to get over a certain amount of points on this. I can't remember what it is, or don't fucking hit the minefields. Ah, oh, bloody hell, and it stops your tank dead. Um, <laughs> but when you're doing your campaigns, you can avoid um, doing certain things if you don't want to, you just go around it if you want, but. But it is good when you play the campaigns, but it can take a while to play the campaigns. I mean, you've got five different levels of that, but have a go of it, see what you think. Um, it's good. Oh, so we only need 4,000, so ambush is probably... Ambush. I don't know. Well, I think... Well, there's a lot different on the Commodore 64 version. The Amstrad version looked like... He was going down um, trenches in Star Wars. <laughs> it did run a bit faster and all, but this version I honestly think is better of the um, yeah, ambush. It runs a little bit slower, it's a little bit easier and all. Um, yeah, so basically, you just got to shoot all these guns, and I think you've got to get over a certain once again, it's always over a certain amount of points. Um, then it stops. It's also like that in the campaigns as well, so it's no difference. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's a good game, a really good game. That's it. Two thousand points. That's it. That's all you need. Now, last but not least, is the convoy. Um, probably it isn't easy, but all you have to do is just just left and right because the cross crosshairs aim itself. So basically what you've got to do here is hit the red planes, not the green planes, because the green planes are allies. 
um, trying to protect the convoy or where the red ones are bombing the convoy. You've got to protect the convoy, obviously, but uh, it, is a, it can be difficult with these green planes getting in your way because I think if you hit the green planes, you lose points. Um, so it makes the game a little bit more trickier. But all the same, something different. Everything's a little bit different, which is good. So that's the convoy gone. So, ooh. a little bit of dark music there, a bit of dark sound effects. Okay, 2200, that's not bad. Anyway, I'm going to end this review here. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.